once you have the bands broken and everything taken off of your shoeing stock, you will see that each post has a number, number one, each slot has a number, number one, and you'll take and you'll put post number one into slot number one. This post number one has the front end hardware on it, as you can see here. That will go towards the front. That is the block on the front. It's already attached, and you will attach the, the other block to the back, and that's numbered as well. We'll put that on now. That angle is attached and you can see it goes right down in there. There's pre-drilled holes for the lag screws and we'll put those in here in a moment. So you put all of the posts on temporarily you can see there's one, there's number two, there's number three, this is the back end of the stock, and there's number four, back at the front end. And I'll show you what it looks like all over. So once you have those in temporarily, and you don't want to make those screws tight, or the, the leg bolts tight yet, you just want them in so that they will hold the posts in place. So the next thing you'll want to do is put this put this cross piece on. I'll show you in a minute where it goes, but I want to show you there's the number. It's kind of dark. You might not be able to see it very well. There's the number one. There's the number two. So obviously this goes on the number two post. The other one goes on the number one post. There's a notch on the post. This is the number two post. There's the notch. There's the notch on the number one post. And you just set them in there. Push it in. And then you've got pre-drilled holes that match up perfectly. And you may have to move your post in or out a little bit. And then you do the same thing again on the other side. Number three post. Number three uh, on the cross tie. Put it in there. Number four and number four, you put them in. Now you're ready or your front end. To, to put the front end on. And then you want to put the front end on, and you want to be sure to put the front end on before you put your top boards on. We'll show you that in a minute. But you have to put these in first, or else you may not be able to get this together. There's pins in. So now you've got it. Got your cross, you got your posts, your cross ties, and the front end. We're getting there. Now you're ready for the top boards. These are the front and back top boards. Obviously, that one's the front, this one's the back, and then we'll show you here the, uh, the ones on the sides as well, how you know which one goes where. I put marks on the top there. Okay, so hold, hold it up there so that we can see them together. So you see the X on top and the X on the board. You put those together and now all your lines should, all your holes should line up. So we set this up just so you can see what it will look like on top. The sideboards here will get nailed into the side of the post and then the top boards will get nailed on top of the posts. You can see how the X lines up and how the line there lines up. And when we put it up on, it'll be exactly like that and everything will be perfect. Put the screws 
in on each side. I would put a screw in over here too. Inside, like this, you don't have to have, have, to have pre-drilled holes. On the outside, he has pre-drilled the holes so that it doesn't split. The further in, it's not going to split. So here on the on the top corner, you'll put five legs or five screws in. There's three in the pre-drilled holes. There's two that don't have pre-drilled holes, and then you'll see there's two more pre-drilled holes right here. And those two holes, you will put the three and a half inch lag bolts through. So then you build yourself a little scaffolding. that with the with the screws you set your top board up there and you run your screws down through and it lines up the, the mark you do that on both sides And once you have the top boards on, you're ready to tighten down. So we're going to go along. We're going to tighten all of these leg bolts on on the floor. And then there's also these leg bolts here underneath. They aren't in yet, but you put those in. And then we're going to put the leg bolts in there as well. These are all two and a half inch legs. legs going in there. Now you have that block nice and solid. And you can see the outline of the brace that goes on there. You put the front block on and you put the back block on. You toenail that in there. They're six inch, what are these called? Pole barn spikes. They're, they're six, six, in, inch ring six inch ring shank pole barn spikes. And they go they go into each block gets two of these. And there's pre-drilled holes. So you just put those in. As easy as that, anybody can do it. <laughs> so there's there, and then you'll see them, see the holes there. And I'll show you others too. Right 
there on the back blocks. That one isn't on yet, but you'll see it right, right there. Just like that, and you'll put there's pre drilled holes for each of the two and a half inch legs. Just put one in every hole. So, the last thing that you want to put on here is the angle braces, pre drilled holes. Once you have it all together, it should look like this. <laughs>